what I miss about life would have to be my freedom of not having to think twice about what I'm doing. So when I used to play basketball, that was like my go-to thing. I didn't have to worry about anything, but now with my health, it has impacted me not being able to play it. So that's one thing that I do miss. Hi, my name's Emily Clark. I am 19 years old and I was diagnosed with lupus uh, in 2014, end of January, early February. I get the symptoms of like lip swelling, tongue swelling, even my face gets swollen, or I get really bad chest pain or headache, or I start getting joint pain. I've learned to make the most out of my life after being diagnosed, which is to appreciate the small things in life. So things I guess I took a granted for um, before I got sick. So I guess I took a granted for me playing basketball. So when I am well enough to play, I take advantage of it and I appreciate it a lot more. I also, since I can't do stuff that I did before, I learned to take up new things. I spend time with, I guess, my family more. I have, when I do get to go out, I appreciate it a lot more than what I couldn't. People who actually have the flu create antibodies in their body and these antibodies kill off all these germs. People with lupus do not have a shutoff valve for these antibodies, so it keeps producing, and then it builds up in the body and affects everything in the body. An average day looks like to me is, first I wake up, I take my first set of pills, then I'll shower, get ready for the day, depending on what I'm doing, and then at lunchtime, I take my second dose of pills with my food, and then say, if I'm going out, I'll go with my friends, my boyfriend, family, the hardest thing for me um, to watch my daughter go through lupus was to see this energetic daughter of mine that was very go, 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 did a lot of sports, and then all of a sudden she wasn't able to do it anymore. She didn't have the energy, um, the pain, um, and the uh, suffering. It was very uh, heart-wrenching. How I make the most out of life, I guess you could say would be that I found myself, is I've learned a lot about what I like and what I don't like that I didn't know that I liked. So for example is I found out that I really like cooking and baking. So I do a lot of cooking and baking for friends and family. I need to look for information, understanding, knowledge, listening to her doctors and following the advice of her doctors and just basically learning about lupus and listening to your body. That's the most important, listen to your body. If you wanna sleep, sleep. If you wanna yell, yell. If you wanna cry, cry. Listen to the body, never suppress your feelings. But I think with Emily being the strong, vibrant young lady, um, I think she's gonna be very successful and she'll have all the support she needs from her family and friends. Some advice that I would give to young girls or young adults that are just getting diagnosed with lupus is not to give up because it isn't the end of the world. Things do get better. Yeah, at the beginning, it does seem like your whole world's crumbling down because you can't do certain things that you love to do. But once you get it under control, once you start thinking positively, you overcome everything and your life does get better. You start to do things that you would never expect you to do or you learn to do the old things in a different way. And with a great support system, you can overcome it no matter what. Just don't think negatively and think positively and everything will get better.